In a tragic incident in Ottawa, Canada, six individuals from Sri Lanka, including a mother and her four young children, were brutally attacked to death late Wednesday, shocking the nation where mass attacks are very rare. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau expressed horror at the terrible tragedy where police arrested and charged a 19-year-old Sri Lankan student, Fabrio de Souza, with six counts of first-degree murder and one count of attempted murder. De Souza, who knew the family and lived in the house, was taken into custody immediately. The victims included a 35-year-old woman and her children aged 7, 4, 2 and 2 months along with a 40-year-old man who was acquainted with the family. Ottawa Police Chief Eric Stubbs has condemned the senseless act of violence during a televised news conference, emphasizing that the victims were entirely innocent with no prior interaction between the police, the suspect or the family. In addition, Ottawa's Mayor Mark Sutcliffe also described the incident as one of the most shocking incidents of violence in our country's history via social media. The tragedy unfolded in Bad Haven, a southwestern suburb of Ottawa where emergency calls prompted police to respond just before 11 p.m. on Wednesday. Mass attacks are a rarity in Canada, adding to the gravity of the event. The country witnessed a similar tragedy back in December 2022 when a man shot five people in Toronto suburb before being neutralized by the police. Whereas another grim incident occurred in September of the same year where a man stabbed and killed 11 people in Saskatchewan, later dying of cocaine overdose following his arrest. Ottawa, with a population of just 1 million, typically sees low incident of such attacks, recording 14 in 2023 and 15 in 2022. The shocking nature of this event has left the community reeling and prompted reflection on the safety and security of the neighborhoods.